Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Rupert Neve Designs has a heritage of creating fine audio products that dates back decades, and the company has stayed ahead of the curve through all those years, constantly improving and breaking new ground as they release new products. And they've always paid respect to the legacy of quality they established dating back to their earliest products. Now today, we've got a fun new one for you to check out from Rupert Neve Designs. This is the Dual Diode Bridge Compressor. Rupert Neve designed his first diode bridge compressors back in the early 1970s. These compressors quickly became renowned for the desirable characteristics they impart to audio that runs through them. The glue and the punch they provide for tracks and mixes. With the new 5254 dual diode bridge compressor we have here today, Rupert Neve Designs wanted to pair those desirable audio characteristics and performance with more modern control capability to allow for even more versatility. This circuit was originally developed for the state-of-the-art Rupert Neve Designs Shelford channel, which is an incredible piece of gear that I absolutely love. They've taken that Shelford channel circuit and made it state-of-the-art for the new standalone dual diode bridge compressor. Now, modern updates on the 5254 dual diode bridge compressor include advanced timing control, significantly lower noise, fully stepped controls throughout, higher voltage power rails, and built-in parallel processing capabilities. You've also got a sweepable sidechain high-pass filter for controlling how the compressor interacts with low frequencies, a sidechain insert, custom Rupert Neve Designs transformers on both the inputs and the outputs, VU and peak metering, and more. The dual diode bridge compressor is a two-channel unit. You can link those two channels in stereo or use them independently for two mono signals. There are duplicate controls on the front panel for both channels. For each channel, we have six ratio selections available from 1.5 to 1 to 8 to 1. The red makeup gain control offers a range from minus 6 dB to plus 20 dB and the threshold control covers from minus 25 to plus 20 dBU. A cool feature is the unified attack and release timing control on the front panel. This makes setting the dual diode bridge compressor very easy to dial in. It has six settings that are carefully selected to cover a wide range of applications and signal types. There's also a fast button, which increases the speed of both attack and release for more effective compression of fast transient signals such as drums or other percussive signals. The sidechain can be used to control the response of the compressor, and this is especially powerful when you engage its built-in high-pass filter. The sidechain's high-pass filter reduces the amount of low-frequency information in the sidechain. Those low frequencies have a lot of energy, and they can affect how the compressor triggers. By filtering out some of those low frequencies in the sidechain, you can reshape your mix or sound to allow the compressor to work more on the mids and high frequencies. It's very powerful, and the frequency of that sidechain filter can be swept from 20 Hz to 250 Hz. We also have a blend control right on the front panel, so you can perform parallel compression. This is a very popular modern mixing technique where you mix the dry, uncompressed signal alongside the compressed signal. Parallel compression lets the dry signal carry the transient details and dynamics while blending in the compressor for punch, solid signal level, and shaping. We can bypass both channels of the compressor with a single switch and select whether the analog VU meters are showing output level or gain reduction. Around back, we have XLR outputs and Combi XLR quarter-inch inputs. The back panel also features sidechain insert jacks, so you can run an EQ or other processor in the sidechain for specific control. You can engage or bypass this external sidechain insert with a switch on the front panel. But of course, what really matters with a high-end piece of gear like this is how it sounds. Let's take a trip over to my home studio and listen to the 5254 dual diode bridge compressor in action. Thanks for joining me here in my home studio. I've got the dual diode bridge compressor set up in my signal path. I'm coming out of my Apollo audio interface into the dual diode bridge compressor, and then I'm going into Rupert Neve Design's master bus converter, a great sounding converter. And I've got all the extra functions turned off here, so we're just using this as a straight transparent converter. We're going SPDIF back out into Luna. So what I'll do is I'll play a stereo mix of one of my tunes here. We'll experiment with some of the settings, and then we'll also listen to individual tracks. To begin, here's a bit of the song with no compression applied. Now we'll engage the compressor. I'm set for stereo link operation. We've got a medium fast timing, three to one ratio. We're setting our threshold, so we're getting just a bit of compression on the overall mix. We're just bringing things together. Let's listen to this.
you can hear the compressors making things sound bigger. It's bringing it all together, making it sound more like a finished mix, and it's also adding a nice punch to the sound. Now we'll engage the fast switch, and this will make the compressor catch more of the transients. Let's also drop our threshold down so we're getting heavier compression. We'll also bring up the makeup gain just a little bit because we are going to be compressing things harder. Once again, we're pulling things together. We've evened out the dynamics a bit more so we've got a smoother sound, but it's still adding a nice punchiness to the signal. Now one thing I want you to check out here is the sidechain high pass filter. As we dial up the frequency setting for the high pass filter in the sidechain, you hear the upper mids, the mids, and the highs start to come up. That's because the compressor becomes less sensitive to bass frequencies. So what I'll do is turn that frequency all the way down to 20 hertz. And as the music's playing, I'll dial that up, and you'll hear the change in the balance of the music. My default setting for this is somewhere around 10, 11 o'clock. So we're moving those very low bass frequencies from the side chain, but we're still allowing the bass frequencies to affect what's happening inside the compressor. The dual dial bridge compressor is useful on individual tracks as well as on mixes. Let's listen to it on an electric bass track. I'll turn off the fast switch, and let's set our timing back to medium. We'll leave our ratio down here. Let's bypass our side chain for now. And we'll set our makeup gain to about 12 o'clock. Now a couple useful things for a track like this, we can blend some of the dry signal back in, so we can hit the compressor harder and get more compression on our overall signal, and then blend some of the dry signal back in, which restores some of the dynamics and some of the detail. So let's set our blend here to about 2 o'clock. Pull our ratio down another notch, and listen to that. I like that setting a lot. It's letting the growl of the bass come through without being so compressed. Now let's listen to the effect of the side chain's high pass filter on the bass track. We'll set our blend back to 100%, turn our frequency all the way down, and engage the side chain. I'll bring that up so you can hear the change in the tone. You can really hear how features like the blend control and the high-pass filter in the sidechain let you shape the sound when you're using the dual diode bridge compressor. 
It makes it very versatile both for individual tracks as well as for complete mixes. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the brand new 5254 dual diode bridge compressor from Rupert Neve Designs. Combining the vintage approach of Rupert's classic diode compressors from the early 1970s with modern control and features, it's a complete winner for both tracking and for mixing. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.